Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris. We are at war with the Federation and uh, it's pretty neck and neck right now. Um, they have a lot, a lot of fleets that they keep throwing at us. Um, we're defeating them in every battle, so maybe we're a little bit ahead of them, um, but not by a lot. Um, we haven't really been able to advance because we keep having to you know, fall back to repair and to reinforce our fleets. And they seem to keep coming at us with new fresh fleets. So um, we can only hope that they're kind of draining their resources at this point and eventually they're gonna stop being able to replenish their fleet so quickly. Um, but for the time being, yeah, I mean, this is what we got. Fight after fight. We're trying to hold the ONAB system right now. Um, and uh, this, flight, this fight is going okay. This one is one of the, their smaller fleets, yeah. I think we're defending against, yeah, basically a total of like 11k with our 80, 80k star fleet. Um, and then, is this planet currently being bombarded? It is. They've got psionic infantry guarding the planet? Or is this occupied by us? Sandrin, United Planet States. Oh, interesting. Oh, we've already occupied this. So if we actually find our armies... Okay, this is what's... Um, the army was just embarked on the planet. Okay, anyways, we're going to unpause the game in just a second, but I do notice that we have stockpiled 155,000 unity, which is a lot. Um, so let's continue to um, specialize our worlds. Uh, so I think we want to focus on our generator worlds and our mining worlds um, because we're doing fine on consumer goods and um, maybe our forge world as well. So let's see, we have on our forge world, really? We don't have anything? I think we need to spend, let's see, 27,000. Okay, this is going to increase. No, this just decreases our metallurgist upkeep. That's not really that important. Because what's their upkeep? It's just like minerals. So this just helps us get more minerals. I'd really just like to increase our um, alloy output. I don't really care about reducing the minerals uh, upkeep. I think it's more effective than to just go to our mining world and to increase mining district, minor and strategic resource gatherer output. Speaking of strategic resources, okay, I was going to say if there's uh, there might be some on this planet, but there actually aren't any. 12 available jobs. Okay, let's continue upgrading this. We're going to want to upgrade our generator world. 63k. Um, might be worth doing our other mining world. This will increase our rare resources output. And I think we'll want to get some more jobs on this world too. We have two gas extraction wells. We have two crystal mines. Now let's get some chemical plants. Chemists turn, mo uh, no, we don't want chemical plants. We want moat harvesting traps. That's the one we want. Yes. All right, fantastic. All right. Um, and uh, all of our other planets are looking fine. They've got plenty of jobs, plenty of housing available. Um, nothing to do. Okay, um, next thing uh, we want to look at, the date is 2374. That puts us 25 years away from the endgame crisis. Yikes. Um, how is the war going in the east? Where is our fleet? Okay, our fleet is here. And um, we could either hold here or we could try to, you know, push forward. This fleet is in decent decent shape. It's not in perfect shape, but probably good enough to get to the Riverland Vortex system um, and then repair there. I would say so. All right. So first things first, um, let's win this battle on the ONAB system. Actually, before we do that, sorry, one more thing. Let's build a science ship. We're getting lots of debris. And um, if I really want to get caught up um, technologically with um, the other empires and get ready for the endgame crisis. I really need to make a priority of researching, uh, you know, battle, Evading battle debris. Fleet. All right, because you see all this debris in this system, it's going to be really important for us. 
What? What uh, empire is this? Black Tower Outriders. This must be raiders. All right. So looks like we have destroyed. Um, we have destroyed that that hostile fleet. Are they coming at us with more? What's happening in this system? Yes, they are. So we need to remain defending. We need to remain defensive in the ONAP system. Let's actually head to the starbase and just get as much repairing as we can done in the moment. Um, our transport fleet, uh, we could probably just leave on uh, Epek Anume. Hostile fleet engaged. All right. 544, okay, they're completely dealt with. I have a feeling they'll be coming back in a second. Hostile this fleet, um, I say we push forward into the Karu system, repair, then continue pushing into the Rebellion Vortex system. Okay, they're bringing another large fleet at us in the ONAP system. Wow, they, they will not stop coming. This is what I'm saying, is they they might not have very strong fleets, but they have a lot of them, and they just keep coming. I'm worried if we're going to be able to outpace them and, um, you know, replenishing our star fleets. Hostile station engaged. Because if they just keep throwing them at us, we're just going to be stuck in this system. We're not going to be able to, you know, continue pushing forward. We need a chance where we can, you know, repair and replenish our fleets to move forward. A new commander has been promoted and added to the leader pool. Research okay. complete. Research complete. We got citadels. Okay. Once this war is over, we'll see about upgrading all of our star bases to citadels. Um, this will decrease our star base building and module cost. That's so insignificant at this point in the game. I don't think that's worth it at all. Um, we can get better, um, better factories to increase our consumer goods output. I mean, that's nice, but look at our consumer goods right now. We don't really need it. Um, I think much better option is going to be... We could probably take, like, Corvette hull points. Get through some of this backlog here. We can get Devastator torpedoes. We can get advanced railguns. Yeah. We can get more minerals from miners. That's even good. Yeah, let's just start getting through this backlog of... Um, or we could like decrease our Corvette build speed and cost. Okay, against my better judgment, we're gonna spend nine months, and then we'll go we'll we'll go through the backlog. But I, I do think reducing build cost is gonna be important for us at this point in the game because, wow, we are just spending all of our alloys. Okay, fully repaired almost. Hostile station engaged. Okay, fully repaired. How is this um, fleet doing? We're in the Karu system. Okay, we're gonna Hostile take this star engaged. base, no problem. And are they leaving us be for, for once? No, they're not. They're going to continue throwing new fleets at us in the ONAP system. This one, though, is a tiny fleet. We can take them. We can take them on, no problem. Okay. I mean, as long as we're sitting in the ONAP system, we have the defensive advantage, right? We're able to rest and repair in between each one of these fights, and we have this admittedly small and insignificant starbase fighting on our side as well. Okay, looks like the Sandra United Planet States is going ahead and pushing forward for us, and I think that's a good thing. Um, we can upgrade our Minister of Defense. This person is commanding one of our star fleets. Let's go ahead and give... Artillerist just gives us a flat ship's weapons damage bonus. Yeah, I think that's really good. All right. We built our um, science ship. We have a science ship already. OK, 
Okay, well, why don't we just reassign that scientist into this science ship and let's just start researching all this debris. Yes, yes, please. All right. Um, once we get fully upgraded in this system, we will uh, push one of our fleets into the Mies and Uriel. We just need to take out Sander and Authority, and then we can come back to Onab and hold it, right? But at some point, we just gotta take, we just gotta take the bait and just go for it. But they don't have a whole lot of systems here. There's not a whole lot for us to conquer. We just need to go and do it. Okay. Um, this fleet took the star system. It needs probably to repair. Is this the... That's an orbital ring. Here's the star base. No. Okay, that's not what I... I'm so confused. I don't want to be in Fevnor. Okay, I want to be in the Karu system. It's hard to see what's going on. What is this thing? Is this a habitat? I think that's what this is. This is a habitat. Um, let's go ahead and enter orbit of the star system so we can repair. Um, and we are apparently in a hostile engagement, probably in the Mia system. Research complete. Okay. We'll go ahead and give the reinforce order. We're going to move into the Uriel system. And I think we'll go here and then we'll swing down and take these two systems. Once we've taken all the Sander and Authority Research star complete. bases, the rest of the system should be trivial. Um, we can get orbitals, orbital rings for our planets. I honestly don't know much about orbital rings and I feel like we're so late in the game that I'm not really going to get a chance to do that at this point. I, ha I can't give up this Elgate Insight. I have to go take the Elgate Insight. If nobody's opened the Elgate yet, we have to do it. We can get more en envoys. Yeah, that's kind of boring. Crime minus 15%, amenities plus 5%. That's not bad. We can further reduce the cost of claims and war exhaustion. Eh. We can get defense army health. And we can build fortresses. Or we can clear tile blockers. I say we take... I actually say we just, you know, maybe this will... I don't know if it rounds up. But if we get plus 0 0.5 envoys, maybe it rounds up and that brings us to 3. Engaged. All right, is this fleet fully repaired? It is. So let's go ahead and swing around and let's see if we can hold this Incoming Rebel and Vortex system. Hostile Incoming transmission. They want a migration treaty? No, thank you. I was kind of canting on the Sander and United Planet States to take Moffat for us but they haven't done so. Is this our army? How did it get into the Waltham system? I don't remember telling it to go to the Waltham system. Maybe we have to just uh, land the armies here. What is their garrison? 1,083? Oh my gosh. Never mind. I'm not, I'm not taking so many casualties. Not until we get a chance to bombard it a little bit. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay. We are full up on minor artifacts. Let's go into the discoveries tab. See if I can buy another Elgate Insight. No, we still on cooldown. We're still on cooldown. That's unfortunate. Okay, we've taken the Uriel system. I think this fleet needs to go here, here, here. Cloaked fleets discovered in the Ophiel system. Oh, really? This would be concerning. MCS diseased ambition. Non-allied, non-allied fleet. 
Okay. Yeah, hopefully they don't sneak behind enemy lines. That would actually be really bad for us. Okay. Oh, sorry. We were sitting on pause there for a little bit. I was wondering why nothing seemed to be happening. The Sandrin United Planet fate. States have, dis have declared the regime of... Rylash, their rival. Hostile okay. Station engaged. Good to know, I guess. I don't even know who the regime of Rylash is. Oh, they're this tiny little... I guess you'd call it a rump state. Okay. Fantastic. Spaceport under attack. How much? They only have 5.6 in the system? Yeah, we'll take them with, with ease. Hostile station engaged. Hostile fleet engaged. Ruined matter decompressor. And possibly perched on the event horizon of Rebel and Vortex is some kind of mining apparatus. Our scientists theorize that this may be a matter decompressor, a megastructure designed to mine materials from a black hole. While it is no longer fully functional, some mechanism preventing its spaghettification must still be operational. That's really cool. Where is this system again? Oh, it's here. I was going to say, maybe we can claim that for ourselves, but it's kind of deep into enemy territory, and I don't want to do that. I don't like ugly borders. We can build that megastructure ourselves if we want. We don't need to ruin one. Spaceport under attack. Okay. Let's go ahead and rest and repair. We'll go ahead and give the reinforce order. Um, any more claims that we need to take? This uh, system is claimed by the Alliance of Hardshell Harbor. Favar and Republic and Sander and Authority. Okay, so we need to claim these systems because they're not currently claimed by anyone. Spaceport under attack. Oh, we've already claimed this? How, do I, how can I tell if I've already claimed it? We cannot remove claims while at war. So does that mean I already have the claim? Sander and authority. I can't honestly tell. Okay, no, it's just these claims are going to cost us a lot, so I need to be careful which systems I actually want to claim from them. Any system that has a planet in it, we'll say. So, have we claimed the Olam system? It's currently claimed by Alliance of Hardshell Harbor, but we haven't actually claimed it. We need 397 influence to claim it. All right, I guess I can't claim it. Oh, looks like they're bringing a fleet in. 6.4k. That's nothing. Hostile fleet engaged. Um, this fleet can probably... Yeah, it can probably push into the Fanfred system. Is this fleet fully repaired? It took the system, but it's not currently orbiting the starbase and trying to repair. Attack. So let's go ahead and do that. Hostile station engaged. Debris analyzed. Oh, I see. These are the current claims that we want to make. We want to claim the Ginam system. No, not necessarily. I'd rather claim Olam. Is that their only planet? I think it is. So the United, the Sandoran Authority only has one system with a planet in it. So if we take this, the rest of our, the rest of this is our, our territory to claim. Okay, good to know. Good to know. 
Okay, so let's actually move here, and then let's move down, um, and take the rest, occupy the rest of this territory. And um, let's see, the uprising. How are we doing? Settle status quo. I don't think we want to settle status quo with this. Hold up. Is this the uprising? The Union of Holdebagana? I don't remember it being called that. Rebelled against the state of Panic Solid. Oh, there's two uprisings. This is intriguing. Okay, we need to pull this fleet back. I didn't realize there was two different uprisings. And um, we're actually going to need to take care of this. So we're going to send... We've taken care of this uprising, but there's a whole second uprising here that we need to deal with. We need to occupy these systems. Okay. So we're pulling back. Hopefully we can hold this um, system here, but if not, we can just reconquer it. Um, I don't know what the state of Panixal is doing with their army, Hostiles but they need to um, take Fear Mathrios and end this war. All right. What's going on here? Our fleet seems to be moving very slowly. Is that because sublight speed reduction 70% because we're in a neutron star system? Okay, that makes sense. All right, we've taken the system, so we need to move down here. We're holding the fanfred system. Against further incursions. Council agenda ready. Okay, council agenda is ready apparently. Relic activation, shroud accessible. Okay. Let's go ahead and take Can take a further reduction to war exhaustion. It's not bad. It's not good either. Is there anything that reduces our claim influence cost? Hmm. Display of power would increase our influence from power projection. Guess that's not bad. Yeah, let's take display of power then. Okay, is our scientist able to research all of these, um, all of this debris? Hopefully. Special project complete. Special project complete? Which special project? Ah, okay. This is of course all of the battle Station debris. Under attack. De debris is back under attack, but that's okay. We'll be here to reinforce in no time. Here we are, and they don't stand a chance. Bye bye. Okay, fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, how is our fleet doing? Okay, it's gonna take us a while to get back to get up here. This uprising has um, caused quite a stir, huh? Hostile station engaged. Debris analyzed. The Sander and United Planet States. Research complete. How's the Moffat system doing? Are they being bombarded now? Okay, it is. Only just though. They need to stay there and co really commit to the bombarding. All right, so we have. Two more star systems, uh, two more star bases to take from the Sandoran Authority, and then they'll stop being able to generate new fleets. We can make a new society research. We can continue taking off blockers from our planets. It's odd to me, I didn't realize we still had blockers on our planets, but if we do, we want to get rid of them. So let's go ahead and take 12 months to clear dangerous wildlife from planets. 
Council election imminent. Our current top candidates. Senate floor. What is this council election? When is that happening? 57 days. The council will be the empires with the highest diplomatic weight at the time of the election. Okay, well our diplomatic weight is 12.5k. K. I still don't think we're going to be in the top three. I don't think that matters. I know I can assign envoys to increase to increase my diplomatic weight, but that seems kind of cheaty a little bit, just to move them there for the election and then to move them right back to what they were doing. Um, and I don't think we need to be on the council. I think we're doing just fine. Let's go ahead and take... Oh, I was going to say, let's go ahead and take x-ray lasers, but apparently this is just purely off the back of you know battle debris. Okay, we have almost fully occupied the Sander and United Planet States. How is the planet in the Olam system doing? What is their garrison? They have 2,000 garrison here. That's too much for us. Um, how is this garrison doing? Just at 1,072. It's abandoned gateway. Sure, yeah, that is not really that important to us. Um... Let's move this army into the Moffat system. There's also the Uril system. And um, the, the garrison here is only 199. So let's move our army in here first. We're going to land our armies in Ravager's Creek. Debris analyzed. Debris analyzed. Okay, this is really great for us. Keep it up, science ship. Go science. Okay, so we're gonna take this system, we're gonna take this system, we're gonna take this this system after that, and then I think we're gonna take Brius and then we're gonna move forward. Planetary invasion begun. Incoming transmission. Enigmatic observers, fanatic xenophile, fallen empire. As fellow star explorers, we salute you. Where are they? Enemy planet secured. Are these them? Yeah, the Yersarinian ancients. Okay, now I see why the Chosen have halted their expansion west. They're coming up against the um, a fallen empire here, and um, that's really probably animal. stopped their expansion. Yep. I'm guessing that the Chosen are meant to be powerful, but still possible to take on at this point in the playthrough. Whereas Fallen Empires are not, so Fallen Empires must be still much more powerful than the Chosen. Special project complete. Special project complete. Okay, yeah, these are all just our research projects. All right, we're taking these star bases from the rebellion. We might need to move our army in. So let's take Brius, then let's take Mirs. Then we're gonna move this way. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll crush this rebellion soon. We can take a new engineering research. We get mining station output, that's good. We can get destroyer hull points, that's good. Defense platform hull points. I'm tempted because it's a rare technology, so we might not get another option, but we don't really use that many defense platforms at the moment. Let's finally get through this backlog. Okay, let's get um, Devastator Torpedoes, 54 months. We're full up on minor artifacts. Can we buy an Elgate Insight yet? Still no. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we have fully occupied this system. I think we need to move into the Moffat system now. Um, I think this planet is still being bombarded. Yes, it is. Debris analyzed. To very little effect. They still have quite the gar. They still have quite the garrison. Excuse me. But we need to start taking planets so we can end this war. I don't want to be stuck in this war forever and ever and ever. Okay, in fact, I might need to move my 
army into the Fear Mafia system just to end these rebellions. The state of Panic Sala is not having a good time right now. The state of Panic Sala has declared Molinarch Centralized Commonality as their rival. I wonder if we can be in better solidarity with our... Oh, we can't even declare them a rival because their fleet power is pathetic to ours. I was going to say, if we can be in solidarity with our vassal states by, you know, having the same rivals. But apparently we're too powerful. We're too good for them. Okay, um, let's move into the Olam system then. We need to do some bombarding there. Hostile station engaged. Hostile station engaged. All right. We are fighting three wars at once right now. This is a little bit overwhelming. So we need to go into the Orthama system, then this system, then this system. Okay. Debris. We're Analyze. trying to push them back. Research complete. All right. We can clear new tile blockers. We can get Ancient Ruination Glare. What does this do? Archaeotech. It's one of these T-slot weapons. I, I really don't know what these T-slot weapons are for. I don't know if they're going to be useful to us like at all. But with all our other options, that's the only one that I really think is actually kind of useful. That or the tile blocker. All right, let's go ahead and uh, remove a tile blocker from this planet. This will give us two more districts on this planet. Hooray. That's Space good. Spaceborne life form encountered. Hostile station engaged. Special project complete. All right. Evading hostile fleet. Hostile fleets. Which, which system? In the Moffeth system? 5,000? Yeah, no, they don't, they don't stand a chance. This has got to be the last of the Sandarin Authority's fleets. Um, we've taken all of their star bases, so they can no longer build new fleets. We're going to start taking their planets, too. We're going to take Olam, and then we're going to take Moffeth, and then they'll be done. And uh, then we'll have all the planets over here we need to occupy done. Then we can move our army over east, start putting down these rebellions because I'm annoyed. The state of Panic Sala is not taken, not bombarded Fear Mafios, like at all. I don't know what the state of Panic Sala is doing. Where are their fleets? State of Panic Sala. Are they like doing anything useful? Or do they just have no fleets? Oh no, their fleets are here fighting this other rebellion. Okay, that's fair. I can respect them fighting another rebellion. But still, they need to be taking care of one war at a time. Guess the AI isn't good at dividing and conquering. Okay, we're gonna continuing to learn from all this debris. We have new research. Gateway travel. That's exciting. We can get better disruptors or we can get x-ray lasers. Let's get better disruptors while we have the option. 100 months Special though. Project complete. That is a lot of time. All right, hostile fleets are present. Which, um, fleet engaged. this is in the Loisar system. They've got 24,000 against their 90,000, okay. They've got a lot, a lot of, oh my gosh, a lot of battleships, 11 battleships, no wonder. It's okay, I don't think battleships are good if they're not supported by any kind of screen. Yeah, that was a really ineffective fleet, you don't want all battleships and no screen, because battleships are kind of weak um, to taking damage. All right, and here we are. 
Slowly but surely beating the rebellion back. Spaceborn life form encountered. Is this uh, fleet fully repaired? Have we taken the Loisar system? We have. Partially occupied. Okay. That's fine. They own the planets in these systems, but we are occupying the star bases, so that'll be just fine. Okay. We just need to destroy their fleet. Once we destroy their fleet, there'll be no, no challenge to us whatsoever. Um, let's move into the Olam system. Uh, we need to start bombarding Bastogne Nukop. And when our army arrives, we can go ahead and uh, Spaceport under attack. conquer this planet. Alright, Democratic ruler election. We're not going to get involved in that. Just making sure we have a claim on the Olam system. Yes, we do. Um, we just need Moffith and Olam. Hostile station engaged. Spaceborne life form encountered. Spaceborne life form encountered. All right, we unlocked advanced shields and advanced combat rolls. That's huge. Advanced combat rolls. Our combat computers are going to make our ships much more effective in combat. Um, this is commanding our star fleet. So we can go ahead and give an Archaeotech weapon focus. That's probably pretty good. We use a lot of Archaeotech weapons in our fleets. Um, and actually, we're not hitting, we're not getting, uh, using up all our minor artifacts like I was worried we would be. So we can probably get away with using more Archaeotech weapons in our fleets, actually. Spaceport under attack. All right. They're bringing 31,000 against us at Fanfred. This is going to be a big, this is going to be a big battle. One that we're going to win, but it's going to be a big battle. Spaceport under attack. Okay. Um, they're losing badly. Hostile station engaged. They brought in reinforcements, but those reinforcements were a little too late. Too little, too late. Okay. How is the war in the north going? Uh, looks like we need to go back and we need to take back this system okay they've got us they've got a uh, they've got a navy here planetary invasion begun all right planetary invasion begun oh this is gonna be a big battle I actually don't think we were ready for this battle We're going to take a lot of casualties. I think we should have bombarded a little longer. Yeah, we've taken quite a few casualties. That's fine. I mean, I guess we can afford those casualties. We need to move into the Moffat system now. What's done is done. And we need to support the bombardment on this planet because their garrison is replenishing at just about the same same rate they're being, you know, diminished. Hostile fleet engaged. Enemy planet secured. All right. Enemy planet secured. Good, good. How's our how's our um transport fleet doing? Okay. So we lost one of our Titanic beasts and we lost two of our psionic armies. Not good. Not good at all. Um, again, we can replenish it. It's just not something I wanted to do. Let's go into the um, Ragunoth system. Let's see about um, army builder. No, there's no armies in this system. Maybe we need to be in the Farway system. We go to army builder. We need to build two more psionic armies. And which one had the option for a Titanic Beast? Spaceport under attack. I don't seem to be able to recruit any more Titanic Beasts, unfortunately. Sadly. Alright, we need to move this fleet back to Onab to repair. Hostile fleet engaged. 
Um, yikes. They brought 95k against us. Okay, we need to reinforce immediately. That or we need to retreat. This is um, the most evenly matched battle we've we fought here. Are our reinforcements coming? Okay, our reinforcements have arrived. Okay, now it's now it's clearly in our favor. That was too close. Um, I need to keep a better eye on on the war. I can't let myself get distracted. Um, can't let myself get distracted at all. Okay, looks like the Sandrin Authority has retaken Moffith. This Federation really, really, really won't quit. Respect. Okay, I think once we're done with this battle, and there we are, I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Um, let's move both of our fleets back to rest and repair in Onab. Um, actually, our lesser of the two fleets, the one that took a lot of casualties, the Martano Starfleet, I'm going to move into Moffith. No, let, let, let them both rest and repair first. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this war as much as I am. Um, hopefully we can put down these civil wars um, sometime soon. And actually, I think we're just about ready to wrap up this war as well. Um, we just need to invade planets now. We've done pretty much all of the conquering we need to do as far as using our navies. So we can move our navies in to start bombarding planets. We can move our armies in to start invading planets. And uh, we should be wrapping up the war in the next episode, um, which is going to leave us about probably 15, 15, 10 or 15 years to prepare for the Endgame Crisis, which is going to involve updating our fleets. I think we just need to update our fleets and maybe consider getting a fourth fleet in action. Uh, we can totally afford a fourth fleet. Look at our energy credits. Um, we have plenty of excess resources, so we can afford it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.